Welcome back to another episode of Carson's Aquatics. Today we're going to be setting up this 40 gallon aquarium as a breeding setup for my Texas cichlid and my blood parrot. The two fish I'm talking about are currently in my 125 gallon tank right here. That's our Texas cichlid and this is our blood parrot Kobe. I am convinced that these two are a breeding pair. They dug out this nest under the driftwood. They're always guarding it. They've been aggressive to the other fish in this tank. I've seen them like rubbing up on the rocks in weird ways. They're just acting really sus in here. For all I know they could have already laid eggs in here and the silver dollar is just eat them. I don't really know. What I do know is that Kobe is fertile because she actually is the mother to my baby convict cichlids over here. I mean, not really babies anymore, more of juveniles. They're doing great over here in this 75, by the way. But yeah, I want to get those two cichlids out of this 125 into this 40 gallon. First of all, because I want to completely redo this 125 and turn it into a predatory fish tank with arowana, clown knife, big old catfish. In fact, we are going to be moving our red tail out of that turtle pond and into this 125 today in this video. I cannot wait to show you guys how big that guy's got. But also we're getting them set up in this tank because with a male green Texas cichlid and a female blood parrot We have the chance to breed red Texas cichlids. It's a fish. I've never had but I've always wanted They're rare. They're pretty hard to get your hands on. They're usually expensive as well So I'm definitely hoping that we can finally get a couple for ourselves And of course if we can successfully breed red Texas cichlids You guys will eventually be able to get them for yourselves on carsonsaquatics.com So I am definitely hoping that these two can make it happen for us I'm confident that they can both of these fish look really good. Once again, Kobe has had had babies before so it all just depends on that texas cichlid right there and as for the tank itself once again this is a 40 gallon breeder tank used to be a turtle tank for me that's what this cave is all about used to be a basking area but i think i actually want to keep that cave in there because i mean those two seem to like caves but also it looks like a really good surface for them to lay eggs on but along with that cave we're going to throw a couple more rocks in there we've got substrate right in here i think we're going to do sand in most of it so it's easy for them to dig but then we might do like a corner of gravel just to make it look a little bit nicer we are going to be fully decorated this tank. A lot of breeding setups you see are super plain. They don't really have a lot going on. But here in the fish room, I want everything to look nice. You know, I chill down here every single day. So we are going to try and make this tank look as homey as possible for these fish. And the two cichlids will be going in this 40 gallon here in a few days. Today, we're just going to be filling it up, getting it decorated. And then I do want to let it run for at least a few days. We'll probably throw some guppies in there as well. But you guys will see the finished tank with the fish in there in this video. So stay tuned. But right now, the first thing we're going to do is get our substrate and rocks in there. Alrighty guys, well all the substrate and decorations are in and I am definitely happy with it so far. I didn't really know how this tank was going to look because I didn't have many decorations to use coming into this, but it is definitely looking nice. I would like to get a few more plants in there eventually. We might even try live plants in there at some point. But anyway, now that this tank is escaped, we can go ahead and start filling it up with water. Alrighty guys, so the tank is full. I also went ahead and got the filter running and the heater hooked up. And now the last thing we're gonna do is add our water conditioner to this tank. As you can see, that just removes all the chlorine and chloramine from the water. And now we are just gonna let this tank run for a few days. Again, we just need that water to get up to about 78 degrees. And we just wanna give that filter a few days to get anything nasty out of the water. So I don't know when exactly I'm gonna see you next, but whenever it is, I'll see you then. Alrighty guys, well it has been a couple days. Let's go ahead and take a look at the tank. It's looking pretty good in here. Definitely cleared up a little bit. And if you take a closer look, the morning after we set up this tank, I did throw some guppies in here. And there's actually a really cool looking one in here. I'm gonna have to get him out before we put the cichlids in here. But those guppies have now been in there for over a day, about a day and a half now. The water temperature is also perfect in this tank. So this 40 gallon aquarium is now ready for our Texas cichlid and blood parrot. I cannot wait to see them in there. I really think they're gonna breed, I really do. So right now we are going to to grab these two cichlids out of this 125 and get them into a bucket so we can acclimate them to their new tank. There we go, got Kobe. Into the bucket she goes. And got the Texas cichlid. And now to acclimate these fish, we are going to get a scoop of tank water and dump it into their bucket every few minutes. And then here in like 15, 20 minutes, they will be adjusted to these water parameters and we can put them in the tank. So I'll see you then. Alrighty guys, well it has been about 20 minutes. These fish have been acclimated to this 40 gallon tank. So let's just go ahead and get them in there. We will start with Kobe. Got her right here. And into the new 40 gallon tank she goes. Wow, dude, look at those colors. And now we've got our Texas cichlid and there he goes. Oh, look at that. Our Texas cichlid immediately went into the cave. Kobe's back there behind it as well. It's definitely gonna take them a little bit of time to get comfortable in here. I mean, look at Kobe hiding away back there. 
she's definitely a little bit spooked as well as our texas cichlid so i'm going to turn the light off in this tank make them a little bit more comfortable in here and we will check up on them later tonight and also later tonight like i said earlier in the video we are going to be moving our red tail catfish into the 125 it's been a while since you guys have seen him and he has definitely put on some size so with all that being said i'll see you guys back down here later tonight Alrighty guys, so these cichlids have now been in this 40 gallon tank for a little over four hours now. And let's go ahead and check in on them. I'm trying not to get too close because they've been getting pretty spooked in here whenever I come up to the tank. But they're looking good. Their colors are looking perfectly normal. They have been exploring the tank a bit more. And I dropped in a few pellets a couple minutes ago and they are all gone. So I'm assuming one of them handled those. So it's definitely good to see them doing well in that tank so far. But like I said, now I do want to move our red tail catfish into the 125 gallon tank. The tank's looking a little bit murky right now. It honestly just doesn't look good overall. Again, I am going to be redoing this tank. All new driftwood and rocks and probably some live plants in there. It's going to look good when it's all said and done. But tonight, all we're doing is moving this red tail catfish. So let's go ahead and see if we can find him. Oh, I just saw a whisker. Oh, there he is over here. There's a good look at him. Yep. Oh, look at that big boy. He has probably doubled in size since we got him. Maybe even a little bit more than that. Dude, he's just got a fat head. It really does. It's just so wide. There it is. Look at him in the net. Check that out. Oh, his spots look good. All right, let's get him in the 125. There he goes. Oh my gosh, dude. He has gotten so much bigger. Check that guy out. He just moves different now. He just moves slower. I haven't seen him in a glass aquarium in months. He's been in that turtle pond just putting on size so that we could put him in this tank with eventually some more aggressive fish. And he definitely looks like he's going to be able to stand his ground. But that pretty much is going to do it for this video. Of course, I'll give you guys updates on the red tail and these cichlids in the next video or two. Show you guys how they're doing. But yeah, I'm really hoping we can get these cichlids to lay some eggs for us and ideally make us some red texas cichlids once again it is rare it's pretty unlikely that in our first batch we're gonna get any red good looking fish but you never know we're just gonna have to wait and find out this is my first time actually trying to breed fish so wish me luck but yeah other than that today's comment of the day goes out too and if you want your comment to be the comment of the day in the next video, all you got to do is drop a comment down below and that could happen. And if you liked this video, be sure to hit that like button. Do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. Turn on post notifications and I'm going to see you in the next video. Okay, so check this out. I'm trying to grab this plant out of here <laughs> to put in the 40 gallon and this dude is attacking my fingers. Oh, it actually kind of hurts.